One of the newest things in cancer therapy is the idea that we can harness the immune system to attack cancer. So how do we make that work? Immune cells are really good at recognizing things that are really different, like bacteria or viruses. And tumors are basically normal cells that grow too much. So CAR T cells have been a remarkable way to treat cancers and even patients that are very ill. The CAR is for chimeric antigen receptor, which is basically a fancy way of saying if we take two pieces or three pieces of normal proteins and put them together, sort of like it becomes a chimera. Think of it like um, uh, in the dark you don't see much, but if you put on night vision goggles you suddenly see all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And so we're essentially providing a new set of goggles for your immune cells to now recognize tumors and then attack them in a way that they couldn't do it before. So the thing that makes our CAR T-cell approach a bit different is that we're basing it off of some natural receptors that can target up to 80 or 90 percent potentially of human tumors. So not just hematological tumors, but you know, breast cancer and prostate cancer, colon cancer, um, some brain cancers. Currently, our first one is in clinical trial against seven kinds of cancers, both in the U.S. and in Europe. It's a big challenge going from this ID in a lab to getting into the clinic to treat patients. There is this term, the valley of death. And so this is where you have an idea and it gets so far and then it can't go any farther because it requires a lot of money and yet it's hard to generate that. The bit of philanthropy can allow you to get the data to move to the next phase, make it to the next step. Dartmouth has been great about helping us to partner with industry to move things forward. But you're not gonna make a difference working on easy problems. Right. You have to go for the hard ones. And this is an environment that allows you to do that. 